A pair of lion brothers have been documented making a record-breaking swim through predator-infested waters in Africa. Researchers have been documented the everyday lives of the two lions, called Jacob and Tibu, for the years, and the animals are trying to survive the pressures of poaching. Dr Alex Brashkovsky is a conservation biologist with Griffith University and leads the team who have been following the lions and joins me now. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Morning, Dan. Thanks for having me. Uh, tell me about these lions and what you discovered with them. Yeah, pretty remarkable story. You know, uh, one of the brothers, Jacob, uh, he lost his leg in a poacher's trap and uh, has been through, you know, what most people can only describe as hell. You know, he lost his family, uh, was caught in a snare, got gored by a buffalo, uh, moved 75 kilometers north with his two brothers, lost a brother, and now does this incredible swim, you know, a world record for big cats, so uh, pretty remarkable stuff. Tell me about this swim on the K Kazinga River Channel, I believe it was. Yeah, so uh, Western Uganda, Queen Elizabeth National Park, there's two lake systems, Lake Edward and Lake George, and then you've got this channel, the Kazinga Channel, which is about one, 1 1.2 kilometres wide, and we estimate that these lions um, on the 1st of February swam roughly about one and a half kilometers when you actually account for the directional changes that they made. And it all probably happened because they were looking for females. They got into a big tussle with some other males and uh, were forced to swim back to Kazinga, yeah. And, and what did you note about them as they were making this incredible swim? Yeah, so if you actually look at some of the footage, they, they make three attempts. And you can actually see the heat signature on our thermal camera where something's actually potentially trailing them. It's either a hippo or a Nile crocodile. And that's obviously the biggest sort of threats to these lions. You know, as they sort of enter the water, uh, they're acutely aware that there's some other animal in the water with them. These lions clearly have a drive to survive. What have they taught you about the plight or the situation for lions, particularly in that part of the world? I think what these lions and what the swim sort of testifies in this part of Uganda and more broadly across East Africa is that lions and other big mammals are having to make increasingly risky decisions uh, for the simplest things in terms of reproduction, finding food in increasingly human-dominated landscapes. I think that's what this show, the, the swim really shows us. And what does that mean for, for their survival? Yeah, so, so if you look at this particular national park, so Jacob and Tibu, they're, they're actually looking for females in a largely female poor system. So we've seen the lion population in this park decline by about 50% in five years. So uh, I think uh, from, a, from a sort of survival standpoint, you know, the big thing now is, you know, can management and can conservation authorities in this park get the female population back to a level where you know, the, the lion population can really bounce back. And are you confident or have you seen signs that that work is happening to increase those numbers after that incredible 50% decline? I think the biggest challenge to, to, to conservation sort of situations when it comes to lions, and, and especially in Uganda, is actually ironically that a lot of the agencies and a lot of the different NGOs that, that are working in those landscapes often work independently, which is kind of a, a sort of a big obstacle to conservation. So, I th so I'm hoping that sort of this work and this kind of um, awareness can actually hopefully bring some of those agencies together to kind of channel down and, and bring their heads together hopefully for the conservation of these African lions, yeah. And how are they doing now? Yeah, so, uh, you know, uh, I, think, I think currently, you know, our sort of census work suggests that the, the lion population currently is stable. But obviously nothing like it was 10, 15, 20 years ago, you know, when there was an estimated 200, 300 lions in this national park. Mm. And, and just finally, obviously one of the points that you make there is about greater collaboration and working together around conservation. But what else needs to happen, in your view, to protect and preserve uh, this species in particular? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question, Dan. So if you, if you look at the African continent, you know, it's estimated uh, that you probably need about a billion dollars a year to effectively manage and conserve the remaining lion and elephant populations annually. And, and in, in a Ugandan and, and largely in an East African context, we're nowhere near that in terms of the kind of conservation funding and the resources that, that are needed. So, so the biggest thing that obviously these landscapes need currently are resources, manpower and, and unfortunately money. Mm. Dr Alex Bravkovsky, a cons conservationist biologist with Griffith University who's led this research. Thank you so much. Thank you.